Hi, I'm Dustin from Canamax USA. Today I'm going to be going over how to use your new Canamax duct air leakage tester. The Canomex duct air leakage tester is engineered from the ground up with the end user's experience in mind. It also has a small footprint and fits through roof hatches that measure 21 by 20 inches. Overall, it's easy to transport anywhere on the job site thanks to its lightweight design and crane hook. An optional heavy duty construction cover is also available. Included with the Dalt 6900 is a flow grid for high flow measurements, a low flow nozzle for low flow measurements, a duct connection hose, a power cord, a container for small items, silicon tubing for connecting the micromanometer to the flow grid or low flow nozzle, and an NIST traceable calibration certificate. Before we get into how to use the DALT, let's get a quick refresher about how we measure leaks. To check for leaks in a duct system, we first need to pressurize it. There are three forms of pressure that we need to keep in mind. Static pressure, velocity pressure, and total pressure. Static pressure is the force required to move air through the duct and its various components, like filters and diffusers. Static pressure is everywhere inside a duct and pushes outwards in all directions against the total duct surface area. Velocity pressure is the force exerted by a moving airstream. It's produced in the direction of the moving air. And total pressure is the sum of static and velocity pressures. All right, so how do we do this? First, we're going to seal all intentional openings in the duct system, except for one near the air handler. Next, connect the DALT hose to the duct section and position the static pressure probe at the key points you plan to measure. Then you just pressurize the duct system by turning on your fan to achieve desired static pressure. Control pressure carefully with the fan knob to prevent overpressurizing of the duct. Once your DALT is connected and the duct system pressurized, it'll perform all steps of the air leakage test automatically. To run a test using accreditation standards, begin by clicking on the accreditation icon in the main menu on the control box interface. In this menu, we'll select our flow device. If you're doing a high flow measurement, we'll choose the flow grid. And if we're doing a low flow measurement, we'll choose the low flow nozzle. After you've made your choice, hit next. On this next screen, we'll select our standard. For this example, we're selecting US standard for SMACNA. Next, we decide our air leakage class by putting in the class value. Next, input the duct surface area. And then just set the time that you want to run the test for. The last step is to begin pressurizing the duct. Press the start button on the control box and then press next. At this stage, use the fan knob on the control box to adjust the static pressure of the duct. Running a measurement test is just as easy. First, choose the measure option from the main menu. Then select your flow device just like before. On the next screen, press start to get your motor running on your DALT and adjust the fan speed for static pressure in the duct. When the pressure is where you want it, press the start button on the control box to start airflow testing. You can also monitor your results in real time via the display. When your test is complete, Press the start button again to stop measuring and press the red stop button to stop the DALT fan. The next thing we'll go over are the DALT 6900 settings. From the main menu, choose the setting option. From there, you can change items such as date, time, standard, temperature, atmosphere, airflow, and static pressure. All you need to do is select what you want to edit using the up and down arrows to navigate your choices. Once you have the settings you want, select Set. Or if you want to cancel, hit Escape. The next key feature of the DALT 6900 is its ability to store data internally. The built-in control box stores recorded test data and can be easily downloaded to a USB flash drive to generate a report for the commissioning engineer, pass along to the building owner or signing authority. First, select the My Data icon from the main menu. On the next screen, we see a list of our recent recordings. You can click on the serial number in the upper right-hand corner to review different data sets, or you can navigate through data sets using the up and down arrows at the bottom of the screen. Data you don't need can be wiped by clicking the delete button. Or if you want to go back to the previous menu, you can click the back button. If you want to export your data, you can choose the USB option from the main menu. When you select this option, Insert a USB flash drive into the port at the front of the control box. 
After it's been detected, the DALT will automatically transfer all data to the flash drive. And as a final note, the About option on the main menu provides users with introductory information about the DALT 6900, including the main parameters of the instrument. And it's as easy as that. We hope this video has been helpful. Since duct leakage testing is becoming a more important part of performing commercial HVAC work out in the field, we want to make it clear that these tests can be completed in easier and faster ways than ever before. If you have any other questions about testing with the Canomax DALT Model 6900, please feel free to visit our website at canomax-usa.com, call toll-free at 800-247-8887, or email us at sales at canomax-usa.com.